good day and welcome this is your daily med with lady v yes today's session 10 of psalm 119 and we will see that the word of god gives or brings justice so there is justice in the word of god we will read today from psalm 119 verse 73 through 80 it says your hands have made and fashioned me give me understanding that i may learn your commandments those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because i have hoped in your word i know O lord that your rules are righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me let your steadfast love come unto me according to the promise that you have made unto your servant let your mercy come to me that i may live for your law is my delight let the insolent be put to shame because they have wronged me with falsehood as for me i will meditate in your precepts let those who fear you turn to me that they may keep your testimonies may my heart be blameless in your statues that i may not be put to shame today we will see as the psalmy says god it is your hand that has marvelously miraculously made us the scripture says we are his people we are the sheep of his pastors we did not make ourselves but it is he that had made us therefore because he is the one that has made us he is the one most capable of teaching us and he is the one who will teach us what is the purpose that he has made us for so that we can faithfully and dutifully fulfill such a purpose if we know god and know his word it is more profitable to us than any silver coin or any gold we will see that god is faithful and he will not suffer anyone of us to bear more temptations or trials or hardships or trouble or injustice any and all of these situations more than we can ever bear one person says he'll never put more on me than i can bear so these situations to include sicknesses and afflictions do come upon us they do not come directly from god but god will use them anyway to accomplish his own purpose in our lives to the children of god it is so that they will grow in grace and in his knowledge and become mature children to those that are not saved they have not yet trusted god or believed the word god will use everything in his power so that such person would be saved and not be lost god will allow these things to draw mankind to him the bible say he is long suffering not that any should perish but that all would come to repentance and live so if someone falls into sin it is his responsibility 
if one does not turn from sin, it is his responsibility that if his soul is lost, it would be on him or her and not on the path or the path of God. Because God has made it possible to his son Jesus Christ so that man would look to him and would be saved. Today we will see five things that the psalmist requests of God. Five requests for justice. When we look at Psalm 119 from verse 76 through verse 80. It says here in 76, Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort according to your word unto your servant. So he was requesting the merciful kindness of God. In verse 77, he says, Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Number three, in verse 78, he says, Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause, but I will meditate in thy precepts. It says here, For let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statues, that I might not be ashamed. So the psalmist here was saying, I'm making five requests to you, God, for justice so that you would vindicate me so that they will know that you are faithful because I know that you are faithful. He was appealing to God for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. We look at Hebrews chapter 4. I'm so sorry. We're looking at the, um, the book of Hebrews where the scripture was telling us uh, that we can come to God. And we can find grace. It is Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let us be brave then and approach God's throne. Where there is grace, there we will receive mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. So God's grace is available to us when we need it. The psalmist also made five requests for justice. And from those five requests, we will see that he receives five great personal blessings. One, the Bible says he would receive comfort through the loving kindness and the grace of God. Two, the Bible says the tender mercies or the compassion of God will be granted unto him through his obedience to the word. Verse um, 3. The victories over his enemy he would receive when he meditate upon God's word. 4. He would have godly fellowship of King Red Arts. People who believe in the Bible just as he did. So that even when they have conversations... It will be about the goodness and the word of God. Fifth, he would receive soundness from abiding in the word. And when he does this on a daily basis, he will be enlightened and he would have a clean conscience. Today, God's word brings justice. 
God's word will vindicate us. God himself will be vindicated by his word because he has been faithful, he has been merciful, he has been true. Lastly, he says, not one jot nor one tittle from this word shall pass away. He says, before this happen, heaven and earth will pass away. So we know that he is faithful. So we thank him for his words that are faithful and true and active in our lives if we trust and believe them. And we thank him for those of like faith that he has allowed to cross our path because he is a good, a loving, a kind, and a merciful God. God bless you again and thank you for watching.